this will be the tools that you require a set of precision screwdriver a small Phillips screwdriver and a T5 torque screwdriver running out of space so have to get this and let's see I'm able to fix this without the external casing to clone this 1TB SSD drive now to remove the back cover, use the T5 torque screwdriver to loosen and remove the screws. Be careful, the screws are very small and tiny, not to exert too strong a pressure. There are two small little holes here where I can put a small pointed fill, uh, position screwdriver and I should be able to release the catch. Once it's open, use a position screwdriver to pry open the casing there will be catch along the, the, the whole stretch here so just be careful not to damage it don't exert too much pressure on that it should come loose easily See, there's some catch along here, the grooves. Okay, so these are all made of plastics. In fact, this is plastic, so it breaks easily. Take extra care when you remove this cover. And the SSD is here, so it's a Philip head, a small screwdriver, a little pressure and unscrew this and now uh, this should slide out a bit because there's a screw as a catch here just a slide out and here you have your ssd this is a 256 so just slide it up a bit there you go Okay, the new baby. Let's see whether it fits. Same size. The grooves are the same. Same groove. Same size. Okay. Now let's transfer this over. So we remove the backing from the old uh, SSD. And just to ensure that we have put this back so that it does not have direct contact, the new SSD does not have direct contact to the motherboard. Okay. And the plate. Just sit in nicely. Put back the screw to hold it in place. Okay, not to over tighten. Now to slot this back, there's a catch. Remember, there's some catch behind. So you just sit in and then you just slide it back in. Let's take a look at the side, from the side. It's not sitting on this side. Let's see. 
Yeah, okay, there's a click sound, it sits, no gaps. And these are all here, so just press it in. There, the catch sound again. Okay. And to put back the screws. Now to put back the tiny screw, I would normally turn it counterclockwise so that it sits properly before I will screw it back in. There should not be any resistance. It should be very smooth going in if the threads are all matched so that you do not have any cross crack problem and damage the screws. Okay, let's see how it goes. Go into the BIOS. Right, let's take a look. Okay, good. It's proceeding with a full system recovery. Okay, let's proceed to the next step. Okay. Let's set back to factory reset. Okay, a warning. Remember the reset will permanently delete all system data and personal files on the hard drive. There's no hard drive. I've taken out the hard drive, the initial hard drive, the SSD drive to replace with a higher capacity, a 1TB drive. So I can continue. Okay, now we have to select. This is the only SSD that's inside there, which is the uh, TS1 TMT E220, which is the new. One TB drive. Let's go. So far, so good. The reset and update is in progress. Almost there. Almost there. USB drive unplug. Let's go. It's a success. The one TB is recognized. I successfully have set up my new one TB SSD into my old Dell XPS 13 laptop. There are two methods I can use. Either I clone the whole system or use an image recovery using the window recovery or the Dell recovery system. By cloning, you'll be doing an exact copy, just like a mirror. It's a mirror image, byte for byte. Whatever you have in your existing system will be carried over to the new copy. The other method is to do an image recovery, either using the window recovery system or the Dell recovery system. However, more time is needed and you can choose whatever software to leave out and only install the software that you want in the new SSD. The laptop will run faster as I can leave out whatever software that I do not require. It's 
a very straightforward process. Just follow the instruction every step of the way. You can do it too. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and drop a like.